An introduction to tropical glass houses. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. I'm Tom Cole, Head of Horticulture at Cape Manor College. And I'm standing outside our tropical glass house. I'm just going to give you a couple of tips and hints on how you can deal with your own house plants at home. This is a huge tropical glass house that stocks a whole myriad of different types of plants from all over the world. But we haven't all got one of these, or are fortunate to have one of them, in our own home setting. What I'm going to try and do is give you a couple of ideas on the types of plants you might be able to containerize, or even pot up into beds in a conservatory or an indoor space. For a good long-lived display in any sort of enclosed setting, your best bet actually is to go for good foliage-based houseplants. There's a whole range that you can look at, particularly those from the fig family. Ficus benjamina, the weeping fig, is a real popular plant that is easily containerized and can also be looked after and maintained to a size of your choosing. From time to time it might suffer from a little bit of leaf drop, but that's about it. You've also got other plants which give other appeal, the trailing or climbing plants, plants like Tradescantia, which has a whole myriad of different types of foliage colours from purple through to creams and whites and dark greens. Another example from the fig family is the rubber plant, Ficus elastica. It has a great broad leaf which comes in a whole range of colours varying from green, yellow, even through to red. These can be more as a standard or you can prune them so they become more bushy. They're not the most attractive plant on their own but when grouped with other foliage based plants really do look quite exciting. For a real splash of colour in your conservatory, why not try Bougainvillea? This is the paper flower. It's a plant that has to have a little bit of help to climb up, but once it gets there, it's a very vigorous climbing perennial, flowering all on its present season's growth and throughout the summer period. You could even move it out onto a patio if you wanted to, but you must bring it in before the frosts occur. Here we have some really good multi-purpose foliage based plants which were equally at home in this raised bed or they could be containerized with other perennial plants or even put into hanging baskets. We've got asparagus, asparagus with its very very fern like foliage but watch out for the hooks on its stems is a great plant for tumbling over other plants and borders. If you're looking at something which in turn you could eat eventually then better still to use something like a citrus plant. It's attractive for its foliage, its sweetly scented flowers, and then at some point in the year, you'll also have fruit. If you have an indoor plant area, tropical house, conservatory, which is more on the drier but hot side, then the best type of plants for that are plants such as the succulents and cacti. Succulents like the jade plant, with its huge thick stem and rubbery leaves, which actually doesn't have to be watered, for at least three or four weeks at a time. And then you have the true cacti, no real leaf area at all, just a single stem or a, or a stump full of spines, but will flower and have quite exotic, brightly colored flowers. 